Well, the chickens are fed. That's not something I share with you guys often because that's uh, taking care of the chickens every morning is like a two-handed job. And um, unless I have a helper out here videoing, I can't, I can't do both. <laughs> funny thing happened today um, mr. homestead's probably gonna kill me for telling you this <laughs> so usually every evening we water the garden if it hasn't rained and yesterday it didn't rain and so we have two sprinklers and we came out we come out and turn on one sprinkler because we don't have the water pressure to do two sprinklers at one time but we turned on one sprinkler and watered the garden and then about 30, 45 minutes later, we come out here and we switch to the other sprinkler and water that garden. This has only happened like once or twice, but it happened last night. We forgot to come out and turn the water off. So we watered the garden all night long. <laughs> so needless to say, everything on half of the garden is soaked. But that's okay we can always use the water so let me show you what's going on in the garden this week the tomatoes have become truly stressed and so if you see on and when I mean stress it's all these dead leaves so I came through this week and just um, pruned a lot and I completely weeded this bed and there's already grass back in here but it was completely cleaned out. Um, just trying to get the last bit of what I can get out of the tomato plants um, for the summer. And um, so we're still getting a good amount of romas. Romas are doing pretty well. Um, I've noticed a few um, bugs on the tomatoes, but I looked it up. I can't remember what kind of bugs they were, but I looked it up and they weren't like detrimental to the plant. It was just like, they're just a bug. So I'm not really concerned about it. And especially at this stage in the game, you know, we're kind of at the end anyway. I'm looking at the, the um, onions though, and they are doing really well. There's some over there that are looking really good, um, getting larger. So it won't be long before we'll be harvesting these onions. Um, and then over here, the same thing was happening with these tomatoes. So I pruned these, weeded this bed, and um, these are our jet stars. They're still producing. The only thing about these are, let me show you the size of these in comparison. See, these are really really small um, when they first started coming out they were nice size here's a nice one one a little bit larger that's a nice size tomato as a matter of fact I think I'm well I'll leave it leave it for a day sometimes I so sometimes I pick them green just to um, keep the pest from getting to them before they get ripe and then I just let them ripen in the house but um I think I'll let it go this time you guys let me show you the potato plants can't even see the raised bed can you <laughs> they are crazy but look at these beautiful blooms I love potato blooms they're like and they are in the morning glory family if I'm not mistaken and that's why their blooms look like that but these things are crazy. Um, we're looking at, we're looking at the end of August, 1st of September 
um, when we harvest these potatoes. So y'all stay tuned for that. I'm excited about that. So I have now one, two, three, four empty beds, which is killing me to have empty beds, but um, we're in the process of replanting and it's not quite um, time to put new plants in our fall plants because it's still pretty hot and it will be to, through through August. So for right now we have the potatoes, the sweet potatoes, excuse me, and we have the tomatoes and then we have our pepper plants. The pepper plants is one of those beds that um, have not been weeded yet and um, I have, let's see, how many beds do I have? That's a nice, nice pepper there. But um, I have one and a half beds that need to be weeded yet. And this one is one. And then the half of this one, this side on over here, needs to be weeded down there. But the weeds are these stinking dollar weeds. And they're so annoying I don't know I'd rather pull grass but there's the sweet sweet gypsy pepper um, peppers are doing great they're still producing I need to get out here and do another pick of the peppers but um so let me show you what's going on with the empty beds so before I show you that Guys, I just love these sunflowers. Are they not just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? That one's trying to open up. And I've got another succession of sunflowers and corn planted here. Okay, so here's what happened this week. Monday, I found a friend on Facebook that has horses. And she is not able to get rid of the horse manure like she had previously whatever system she had to get rid of it had um, not been able to do that I think she had some back property or something and it had grown up and bears and she just didn't want to deal with it so she's been giving away um, the horse manure and straw that she mucks from her stalls so um, I got a a uh, truck bed full about two weeks ago and used it on this bed these two beds behind me and then I put some in my um, compost bins and that used up the first truck load bed truck bed load whatever <laughs> Um, and then Monday of this week, I, I was like, you know what, that was so good and it didn't go as far as I thought it would. I'm going to go get another bed. So, we have um, filled up another bed here. This was the squash bed. And um, that's another reason that we're not planning yet is because this will be spread out and I'm actually going to till it in with the dirt that we actually have right now. And just give it some time to decompose, which it's... It's already in a really well decomposed state at this point, but I just want to um, make sure that it um, doesn't burn whatever plants we put in there. So we're just gonna give it some time before we plant. And um, so I have three beds that um, have the horse manure in them. I still have the empty um, cucumber bed that I plan to put more peas and beans in this bed because I have the trellises here and um, I, I think I still have plenty of time to grow some peas and beans in this. Let me show you the herbs that are coming up. So the herbs got really well watered last night. <laughs> That's part of, the, part of what got watered. So this is our um, thyme, these two, which they have just exploded. Um, this is rosemary. Um, I bought this thinking I was just going to put it in my kitchen window and then I'm like, you know what, I'm going to put it out here with the rest of the stuff. Basil, doing really nicely. I have four little basil plants. Dill is also coming along. And then these are my 
sage and the dark purple opal basil. I love these. I love the color of these. Is that not pretty? And then these loofahs. Oh my goodness. They are like crazy. Crazy. Let me show you this loofah gourd. I love going under here. There's a loofah gourd. Let me see if I can put my hand up to it to show you how big it is. So there's the loofah gourd. See my hand? Let's put it up. There we go. Huge. And then here's another one right here. I love these. I've got quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, six loofah gourds, I believe. But um, they're coming along really nicely. Over here in where our carrots used to be, if you've watched previous videos, I've talked about how sandy this portion is because we um, added some soil that wasn't really well, um, didn't have a lot of good organic matter in it. So um, we're going to be putting some horse manure in this one as well and tilling it in, but I feel like I need to pull the onions up. These are just bunching onions over here on the right, so they're not going to grow thick like the Spanish onions on the other bed, but um, that's the plan for that. So right now we're kind of in a waiting waiting stage okay so i've laid down vegetables all over the place let me pick them up real quick i put peppers down here and i put tomatoes somewhere else <laughs> to go back and retrieve them all where did i put those tomatoes not there so we're kind of in a like a waiting stage right now of just resting and um, preparing to replant. So here's what I just picked up real quick, just from the walkthrough. How many of you use your shirts to hold your vegetables or eggs? So that was a quick garden tour. Not a lot to show you this week, but um, this is the process of gardening, guys. You have a crop, you plant, you harvest, to replant but in between that planting and harvesting and replanting we um we have to prepare for the next next season so we're excited about fall harvest fall planting and um i think that's probably my favorite <laughs> planting time um just because working out in the garden in september and october is not quite as bad as working in july and august <laughs> but um and I love the vegetables that come from the fall garden as well. So Mr. Homestead had to come out and feed the turkeys <clears throat> because they do not like me. I cannot feed the turkeys. I can feed every other animal. I could feed the turkeys, but I have to battle for my life while I'm doing it. So Mr. Homestead. They don't battle me. <laughs> he's, he's the alpha in the turkey world. <laughs> Did you just call me a turkey? No. <laughs> I think she did. <laughs> you guys, I'm going to leave on that one. You guys have a great day. And always remember, do your best and watch God do, do the, the rest. Bye-bye.